Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Learners. In this video, we'll be adding menu and burgers in our menu. If you have not accessed the web developing course for kids playlist, go and access it. I will be providing the link in the description box. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So, let us start our video. I right click and open my VS Code and my VS Code has been opened. So I'll quickly start my live server too. And my live server also has been started. So I have changed this search.html to menu.html and in the search box I have changed this uh, changed this search.html to menu.html so I'll go to menu.html so now I will copy this navbar or uh, this full section to id navbar to here then I will paste in menu.html and change this title to menu quick food quick food food okay so I have changed this title to quick food so now let me let us see how it looks I'll go to menu so I think I didn't change it so I'll go to this menu and I'll write here menu.html then here I'll make index.html index.html then I'll go down and change this to index.html and this one to menu.html now let us save it and see yes now it is going to menu.html so now what can we do is we can create another style so menu.css menu.css then inside that I'll write CSS for menu.html so let us close this CSS then let us go to style.css then so first before let us target this so I'll write here link colon CSS menu.css now let us refresh it yes now this both are style so I'll go up and I will copy this code to up to hash content so yeah hash content hash content ally over hash number yes so here to here then I will paste it in menu.css now let us see yes now this looks perfect so um, yeah so what can we do next so I'll go to menu.html and I'll write here to uh, index.html index.html then here menu.html menu dot html yes now if you click home it will go to index dot html then if you click menu it will be in menu dot html so i will import all the google fonts here too so i will copy this and i'll go to menu dot html and paste this here now the fonts are also perfect so what can we do next so let us change this dot active uh, so i will cut it then i will paste it here now it is menu okay so uh, let us target this hash ally so let us remove this so i have changed this dot active and make sure to remove this style.css and i have changed i have removed this border bottom too so let us add images for our, our menu 
so i have lots of images here for our menu let us import it yeah so i have added four burger images so this ones um so i have made so i have made a div class menu then div class burger inside that i have added four burger images so now let us style it for that i'm going to remove this background image so let me see where is that background image yes so i'll remove this background image then i will go to menu.html and i will copy so i'll target menu hash menu background color black your yeah, background color black yes now background color has become black so let us make this a bit lighter uh yes so it's, i think it, it is not looking nice yeah Yeah, so let us start by the one. I think this is too small. So I'll make this to 400 pixels. Yes, 400 pixels is enough. Then let us target this burger two. I'll copy this burger one and burger two, and I'll make this float right. Yes, it's okay. Then we'll do the same for burger three and burger four. This one burger three. And this one by the four. So I think I made some mistake here. Let us remove this. Yeah, now they are correct. So what can we do next is let us add margin left to this margin left hundred pixels. And I think hundred pixels is big 50 pixels is enough yes so i will copy it and paste in burger 3 2 then in burger 2 i will make this margin left to margin right 50 pixels then i'll paste in burger 4 now the all the four burgers are in correct alignments so let us make a button here button type submit and i'll make here href href then i will uh, make it ordered dot html so i'll make an another file called order dot html uh, yes now well, i think so uh, i should write i'll write here what can we write order this burger yes so where's the button yes here is the button if i click it yes it will go to order dot html okay then so let us add some styling to it for that i'll go to menu.css then i will target uh, hash i think it's hash only oh yes it's hash so hash bgn1 position absolute now let us see oh then let us add some let us add left uh, let us uh, like 16 pixels let us see yes okay then let us add um, bottom of 10 pixels then let us see uh, yes it's perfect no 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 it's not perfect uh, let us make its bottom to 100 pixels 110 pixels 
or else 115 pixels yes i think this is perfect has 115 pixels is perfect then left uh, let us try 200 pixels uh 190 180 pixels yes 180 pixels is enough i think then let us add background color transparent then border border none then what can we add font size 30 pixels uh, 20 pixels yes 20 pixels is perfect then color white order this burger yes color white then opacity 0 0.3 0 0.3 yes now if someone hovers hash ptn1 ptn1 opacity 1 that means it will become full opacity oh hash btn1 hover now it will work yes so let us add transition to it transition 0 0.5 seconds is in out yes it's perfect now oh let us change this 0 0.5 because it's not visible perfectly yes then border two pixels solid orange orange red then let us see now if we hover it yes it will be coming orange red two pixels solid gray solid gray Oh, I think I typed it by mistake. Yes, two pixels of solid gray. Yes, now it's perfect. Then let us add a font size 20 pixels. Oh, 20 pixels. Let us change to 30 pixels. Yes, then left. Uh, let us so for some time let us just comment this out and let us comment this out too then let us paste it here then let us comment this in then left 100 pixels uh, bottom bottom then let us see uh, 160 pixels 155 pixels 150 pixels or else let us try 140 yes so 140 is enough now let us cut it then let us paste it here then let us check all this is perfect see here it's perfect then let us add padding top 10 pixel padding bottom 10 pixel padding left 10 pixels padding right 10 pixels yes now it's okay so now it's looking great as you can see here now if we hover it is going clear showing order this burger then if you click it it will be going to order.html in the next video we'll be customizing order.html and we'll be adding pizza sections too so if you like this video then share with your friends and subscribe tech learners too i'll see you in next video until then bye bye